Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Life on the Fly. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a Euro Nymph. It's also called the Green Pheasant Tail Jig Nymph. Now, today I'm going to be tying this on a size 12 jig hook with a 3.3 millimeter slotted nickel tungsten bead. These are two completely good match. I mean, you could do one size up a 3.8 on, on a size 12 which it is ideal just because of weight, right? Especially if you're going to be doing a, you know, a single nymph rig for Euro nymphing or tight lining, then, you know, I mean, the more weight, the better, because you can get right down to the feeding zone. Um, honestly, I stuck with the 3.3 and then I use the, the lead free wire, which kind of gives it that extra bulk. So I don't got to waste thread. Um, the more weight, the better, right? But you don't want too much weight. So, I mean, you could also do a tandem rig or a dry dropper or whatever kind of rig you really want to do. And I mean, you know, you got to get those flies down into the, into the feeding zone, right? So you could throw a big stone fly as a, a lead fly or, a, you know, one of those flies that's very heavy weight that will pull it down. But um, today, yeah, I'm going to be using a 0 0.020 lead free wire. I'm going to be using that for like the, the thorax just to bulk up the first half of the, the hook. So first you're going to wrap your your wire around. I usually cut off maybe about an inch and a half of wire, which will give me maybe about eight wraps, not even, like seven wraps. You just want to cover up half of that hook shank. And you got to flatten out, flatten out any sort of... Uh, tag ends here because you don't want anything poking through your thread when you do your wraps there we go so perfect just just like that okay and then uh, I'm gonna be using uni thread black with a six slash O with the width and first what you're gonna do is you're gonna Start your thread here, right at the collar. You're going to work your way down the lead just to lock it right into place. And then you're going to start building up your thread. You're going to cover over top of the, the wire and just cover the whole entire hook shank right to before the bend of the hook. You don't want it to go too much over the bend of the hook because what will happen is when you're over the bend of the hook, when you put your tail in, it's going to be going down, right? And you don't want it like that. You want it completely straight. So just right there, right before the bend of the hook. You're going to bulk this right up. Now I am filming this on a GoPro Hero 8. So I'm not sure if it will focus properly. I'm sure it will. It's my first time filming on a GoPro. All my other videos I did on my phone, so it's definitely a serious upgrade. Okay, so what you're going to do here now is you're going to cover the whole entire thing like so. Now for this, I use, this is about 22 gauge wire. Honestly, it's just craft wire. I buy this stuff on Amazon. I buy like a bunch of it in bulk, different colors. For this, I'm going to be using green. Now I have tied a bunch in just normal regular copper wire and it does look pretty good, but I like the green because it really suits in with the with the color of the body and it doesn't really affect any of the, the color coordination. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take maybe about two inches of wire and you're gonna 
measure right up behind the bead, right to the back of the hook, and you're just going to tie it on. And you're going to cover over top of all the wire. Now you don't want this to be a complete straight fat body. You do want it to taper down towards the tail. You don't want to build it right up so it's like completely, you know, linear with with whatever the torso is. The torso and the front collar is supposed to be wider than the tail, right? So you're going to wrap this so it's completely good. It tapers down to the tail. That's exactly what you're going to want in any sort of Euro nymph usually. Okay, and then what you're going to do is for this, I just got my pheasant. I got this in a black. So this is a ring neck pheasant in a black. And what I do is right here, you got the marabou, you got the wings, right in between the marabou where the two feet are, right before where the tail goes, there's these feathers here. And they got very, very, very good ends to them. I'm not sure if you can see that. But what you're going to do is you're going to take one of those feathers, any sort of feather really. I mean, they do call it a pheasant tail nymph. And I mean, yeah, this is this is where the pheasant comes in. I actually do either make it out of this or even black squirrel. You can take black squirrel. Black squirrel has a very good texture to it. that You can use it for perfect tails on nymphs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of this the end of this and I'm gonna literally just strip down half of it just like that so I just got the one side of the feather just like that in a black I usually like it in a black you don't have to have it in a black you can actually have it in any color you want obviously but usually it's in kind of a brownish tan I do it in a black just because I'm, it looks a lot better with the black nickel I personally think now what you're going to do is you're going to line them up. You don't want them too flush with each other. And then you're going to measure about the whole entire hook shank back as a tail. It's a pretty long tail, but that's just the way I tie them. And they are very effective nymphs. Tie this all in and snip off the tag end. Lock it in place. And you can go up and around behind it just to kind of keep the tail upright. So it's supposed to shoot just like that. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to completely cover it, cover everything. And now you're going to take a peacock curl for the next ingredient. You're going to take a peacock curl here. You're going to tie her in on the back. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do steady wraps up forward. So tie it right into where it hits the tail. Then you're going to take your thread all the way to the bead of the hook and let it rest. Then what you're going to do is you're going to wrap, wrap whatever way, clockwise, counterclockwise, up towards the bead of the hook. Covering all the black the best way you can. And I've seen many people tie these in all different kinds of colors. I mean, whatever really works. Like in this video, I'm going to be doing it in an orange collar. You can make them in pink, pink collars. I know pink is very good for steelhead. So depending on what kind of fish you are targeting, this is mainly a trout, right? A trout um, nymph, but I mean different scenarios, different situations for different fish. It all varies, right? Well, that always happens. Shoot. Make sure you really hold on to the peacock curl when you're wrapping it. If you let go, the thing's just going to burst. Now, really, one thing, like, I tie for hours every single day. And one thing that I've always noticed when it comes to tying is do not rush your flies ever. Because, I mean, as much as, you know, the, like as much as you might not be tricking a human, you're still tricking a fish. And, I mean, 
honestly the way i look at it is it's kind of like us you know if you if you see a a platter of fruit and it's it's fake fruit it's just plastic you know and it, it actually looks plastic we're not we're obviously going to know that it's fake right and the same way goes with fish with flies you know i mean if you put your time and you put your effort into it and you really put time and you master and perfect it then you're going to catch that perfect fish i like to take two hurls and wrap them up the body just gonna it gives it that extra little bulk go right back down and then come right back up right there and we're gonna lock it about halfway on the hurl so that you still got a few inches of hurl left then what you're going to do is you're going to take the wire. I do one wrap all the way around the bay of the hook behind the tail. Then I come up and I just wrap over top of it. Now this is just to lock and hold the peacock in place because I mean as much as you might want to as much as you might want to put on head cement for the collar, do not, and I do not advise you to put head cement on the body for the peacock because it will ruin the way it is supposed to look. It'll make it clumpy and trust me, I've already been there, done that. Okay, and now you're just going to lock it in place right behind the bead. You're going to snip off the wire. Bam. Do a couple wraps. And then you're going to take the rest of the peacock and you're just going to Come right over the last piece here. I really like this in the green and the black. And then the orange. The orange stands out so much. I'll lock that in place. And then you can tie off your black thread. And we're going to switch to the orange. I've been tying for so long now. And honestly, I still cannot bring myself to learn how to how to use a a wrap tire off or thing I forget what they're called a whip finish tool that's it now I'm using uni thread 60 fire orange this is a very very nice colored orange I've used the neon oranges as well and it doesn't I don't know this there's something about just using the uni 60 the regular thread Okay, and then this is just really now we just got to build up our collar and then this fly is finished. So the way it sits right now compared to what it's about to look like, big difference once you add the collar. It's actually an amazing difference. And now guys, honestly, like if you guys want any sort of um, certain things you want tied, I honestly love tying. I have such a passion for it and... You know, I'm learning every single day. I learn every single day new patterns. Every single day I learn new ways to fish. And honestly, drop a comment. Drop any suggestions of what you want me to tie or what videos you want me to do. And I'll be happy to do it. I'll be doing tie and fish videos soon once the summer comes. Right now it's the winter. And I mean, a lot of fish, fish is closed right now. So we sit here at the bench and we just tie up our, our yearly supply of flies. So I build the collar up, a nice, nice size, not not too much to the point where it's going to fall off the bead, just enough so it brings up that perfect, that perfect look. Then you're just going to tie it off. Now, honestly, this is one of my favorite nymphs because it's such a versatile nymph. You know, you can tie it in so many different sizes so many different colors and it's such an easy nymph to tie and snip it off and that is the pheasant tail nymph you can add head cement to the collar in which i do i add a little bit to the base of the tail as well so it just makes sure that it stays sturdy won't 
bend as it's in your fly box. And whenever I add this head cement, I'm just using the normal shore, the cheap stuff. Um, whenever I add the head cement, it makes it always a darker color as well, right? Oh, a little bit came off here. Oh, this happens quite a lot. Yeah, as soon as you use the head cement, I love it brings kind of a darker, uh, a darker look to it. It really solidifies it. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Drop a like and a comment. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks.